Push it real good. What's up, Rabbit Gang? It's your girl, Kira Rabbit, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title, this video is about pretty much you getting ready with me. Um, you getting to know who I am just a little bit. Have you come in just a little bit, get an insight on who I am. So I'm going to be revamping a wig. I'm going to be doing makeup, and I'm going to be talking about my life. I'm not a professional makeup artist, and I'm not a professional hairstylist. So if you're on this video and you're looking for that type of content and you're looking for me to nail it and execute it like I'm a professional, you might want to click on the next video. Grab your hot comb, grab your makeup, and just grab a seat because I'm about to take you on this little journey. Alright? Okay guys, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment down below and let me know how you feel about this content. Also, turn on your notification bar because when I post, you'll be the first to know. All right, well, further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, I am back. I hope you guys really, really like this look. Um, it took a lot of work. Um, it's not as much as I would usually do if I was off camera, but it did take a lot of work. I wanted to put some curls in my hair. Um, it didn't work out that way. I had to go with a straight look, and I barely completed my makeup because I had an excruciating headache. Um, I try not to let it show, but some parts you probably could see and could tell that I did have a headache. So I'm so, so sorry about that, guys. So the look is kind of like 90% done. This lace is, it needed some some type of, it needed some life. It really, really did. Um, I went in, you know, with my comb and hairspray and I got those edges back so that I could have a clean slate to lay my lace. And then after I did that, I went ahead and grabbed my, um, my stocking cap, uh, adjusted it to my head, got the, got the bead glue, got to spraying it and doing what I usually do to make that ball cap method work. Okay, so you guys' names on here are still kind of weird. So this first question comes from um, user IISMIPP for India one and I'm gonna put that up there um, and she says why are you so cute um thank you um I don't know why I'm so cute I guess God designed us that way why are you so cute now don't mind me y'all I'm still here just jamming <laughs> I was listening to some music while I was here doing my hair I was quite bored so, yeah, this is before the headache took place, y'all, so. <laughs> yeah, you want to get that cap on there really nice and snug, and then you want to, after you get it secure with the got to be glue, you want to take this uh, powder and try to just blend it in more. Like, I got Auburn. Um, it's the color of the cap, so it should blend in more so, like, with my skin tone, but I just use the makeup just to make sure. Okay, so we have another one from Princess Naya. She says, do you have any siblings? And if I do, how many? So the answer to that is yes, I do have siblings. And I have five other siblings besides myself, which makes six of, six of us all together. <laughs> you 
y'all just know that I was having a good time all by my lonesome. I be really jamming by myself. Yeah, you want to make sure that wig is nice and secure to your fitting. I mean, well, shoot. You want to make sure that the wig fits your head perfectly. You want to make sure that it lines up. Okay, so now we're going to take that wig and we're going to go ahead and try to secure that on our head as best as possible. Like I told y'all, I'm not a professional, but I'm going to do the best that I can for me. I'm not going nowhere anyway, so <laughs> let me go ahead and just get it, get it on there. I'm not even gonna lie, when I was doing this hairstyle, or when I was laying this wig, I didn't know what hairstyle that I was gonna do. The half up, half down, ponytail tail style came at the last minute, just like it came at the last minute with the last video, but yeah, I wanted to do something down, like uh, maybe like a part down the middle, and some curls, or maybe even straight, but the half up, half down is something different. People are not used to seeing my hair up like that, so I'm just going to just go with that. So you want to get rid of all those little flyaways, make sure the, the wig is secure as, as good as possible, you know, melt it with that good old wig band. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray my heat protectant so I can straighten my hair. Okay, so this is another weird one. I'm just gonna go ahead and spill this one out. This comes from S H A H E R. A H B E R N, and she says, Do you want kids later? And the answer to that is, um, No, I don't want kids later. Um, I don't have none now, I don't plan on having any later. So, sorry, no little ones. Those flat irons, by the way, are by Tai Chi Gold. Okay, so Woods58 said, can I take you on a date? Um, I don't know you. So, uh, I'm gonna have to decline on that one. Okay, so of course we can't leave it like that because it's like so much lace uh, just showing. I got to do my baby hairs.
Okay, so we have another one from Pretty Mad Three underscore Maya, and she writes, "How old are you?" And the answer to that is none of your knows. I am 35 years old. Now, don't mind the ruggedness now. Just understand the process. Anyway, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box below. Alright y'all, look at it. Just understand the process. We ain't done yet. We ain't done. Oh yeah, don't mind my friend. He just wanted five seconds of fame. You know, I just couldn't cut him out. <laughs> I tried to, but I couldn't. Some baby here is late, I tell you. That scalp is on, I tell you. The reason I'm laying this band down is to, so when I do my half up, half down ponytail, my legs don't lift because I am using got to be glue and that tends to lift. So I just want to make sure everything is secure. That's all. Honestly, it helps to lay the lace more. Need some more blending into my scalp, so you never can go wrong. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start part in each section, so I can go ahead and create this half up, half down look. Cause it did come at the last minute.
Y'all already know your girl had to use that she is bomb. And last question, last but not least, comes from Princess Maya123590. And she writes, she writes, have you ever met Megan? And I'm imagining that she means Megan Stallion. And the answer to that is no. In my head, I've met her. I have met her. Maybe. You know, I've never met Megan Um, And yeah, that completes all the All right, y'all, so how do y'all like it? Right now, what I'm about to do is I am about to go ahead and do my makeup. So the second part of this video is me doing my makeup and you pretty much get in and getting to know me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the second part of this video. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in so I can get into these eyes and boom. All right, Rabbit Game, now that we are zoomed in, it's time to go ahead and start getting into this makeup and get into this mug. And I get to talk to y'all a little bit. So we're just going to do the eyes right now because we're so zoomed in. And then we're going to zoom out to do the face. And then, um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk throughout doing my eyeballs so that you guys can get, like, kind of personal. Um, I have a little list over here. So we're going to go based off the list that I wrote down. Some kind of, like, little ideas that I came up with or some things that I think that you would want to know about me. And I just wrote them down so that I could, um, yeah have a conversation first we're going to get into priming the eye and i'm going to use this um ruby kiss con uh, concealer and it is in the color toffee nice and creamy when it goes on and then it dries nice and matte and it doesn't crease once you set it um so yeah i'm going to take where is my concealer brush what do i want you guys to know um did you guys know it's on TikTok? If you don't, then maybe you should get on and see. I'm on TikTok as well. I'm trying to do this whole 
I guess cross um, cross social cross networking where I'm doing you know doing TikTok, doing YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm on TikTok. I got twenty two thousand followers. Yay for me. So that's a fact that you didn't know. Um, let's see. I was on Jerry Springer before. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm even telling y'all this. But yeah, I was on Jerry Springer. A long, 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 long time ago. So there's something that you probably didn't know about me. And now you do. So yeah, we can go ahead and keep on moving that in. Yes, I do have my lashes done already. I didn't put these on. I usually go to the shop and get them done because it's just um, easier for me right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and pack that in just so that it can just be, you know, more blended into the skin. And once I get that blended, go ahead and setting the eye with some translucent powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and knock this video out some eyeshadows. Let's see. If you're worried about the lashes, because I did tell y'all about the lashes that I have on. Um, it's from my own collection. I don't know if you can see that. I do have my own um, lash company, my own lash business. So you will be seeing them um, before I launch the actual um, business. So you guys can purchase from me. Um, but right now, we're just going to get focused on you just seeing how I work with the lashes and do my makeup and just, you know, just do me real quick. Okay, so the topic was about, pretty much, we're just going to leave it at that. I'm, a, I'm the side chick, and I'm going, I'm brought on the show by him to be confronted by her. But I was young. I was getting paid. And I did it. I was up there letting him know that, you know, you're going to be with me. Right, so I'm going here with this palette and pressed you. Beauty Glaze. I'm going to use this Spanish color. More set, because I set my brows already with. Some powder. Now, even though I didn't prime the whole eye on my other eye, I'm still gonna go ahead and go in the brow bone because my brow bone is um, set with translucent powder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that color on it just so I can have a foundation to go off of when I get to this other eye. Yeah. <clears throat> I like y'all for sitting up here trying to listen to me talk, even though things are not going as well with my speech. But anyways. What's next? Okay, so I went on Jerry Springer. Y'all know about that. Next. So I was on Jerry Springer. What's some other things in my life that y'all should know? I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius, y'all. I barely have any friends. Yeah, um, right now, the only friend that I talk to now is my dog. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. Uh, let's try this burgundy shade right here. The same color as my hair. Let's try this. Um, you just get in a place where sometimes you just like, you know, People get set in your ways. You know? Like it's really gonna be simple. This eyeshadow is gonna be really, really simple. Really something just straight to the point. Run the color. Here's a random thought. I live in Ohio. Um and I wanna move to Atlanta. I mean, well, I do do music. Oh, that's another thing you just found out. I do do music. I'm doing hair, I'm doing makeup. I like fashion. I mean, other than California, 
I think Atlanta is the place for me to be right now. Look at me. Girl, you want to move to Atlanta? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I sure do. I want to get up out of here. So we have this color right here. Cause we're going to do something neutral and um, natural. And I want to use this, um, it's like peachy type of like color. It's like, like it. Be firm where you want to put it at. Because it's going to go on there. I hope y'all can see that. Let me go ahead and get a little bit closer so y'all can see. I'm, like I said, I'm used. I'm new to this. Mm, it is. So we're going to brown. Brown is right here. Everything that I just needed, guys. I just, everything that I needed for my business to launch. And because, like I said, I didn't have the help. We just gonna launch a different way. Like I might still launch the same way I want to, cause like when I have a passion, I have a uh, um, when I you know really really passionate about something, I go for what I want, and I be trying to get it to how I want it. Now that may look a little bit dramatic to y'all, but I just feel like it fits my face, and as time go on. Um, I'm trying something new. Like I'm saying, I'm honestly, this is something really, really fresh to me doing my makeup with the lashes on. I usually do them with the lashes off so I can get a better look and detail and feel on how everything is supposed to be. But I might have to go in and yeah, all this shadow did So what I'm going to do is, you know what? Just because I don't have my friends, I mean, I'm not open to having some. It's just... It's hard to find like-minded people. You may have similarities, similar qualities, and all of that. But I don't fit in. Well, at least I get to see me on camera messing up. I know what I'm doing to my face. I may not know what I'm doing to somebody else's face. <laughs> but I know what I'm doing to my face. I'm going to see him. I'm using this liner by Wet n Wild. And this eyeball. And like I said, when we get finished, I'm going to go and do this eyeball off camera. And then we're going to zoom back out and get right into the face. Not perfect. Just like I'm not a perfect hairstylist. I'm just on here just doing my stuff because, yeah, I just do what works for me. I can do a whole lot better than this. It's the lashes that's in the way. But I wanted to try something different because, like I said, I didn't want to put on my lashes. It just takes forever. But you know what? I just can't. I can't do the lashes first and think I'm going to do some eyeshadow. Sorry, guys, but I just can't. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera. With that being said, let's go ahead and get in right to the next segment. Let's go ahead and do on now. So, yeah, we had to zoom on now to do this face. Yeah, this is my color corrector. I usually put this on the bottom of my face because of um, the discoloration that I have under my neck and um, some parts of my face. So I put that on and I just blend that right on in before I go in with my um, foundation.
like this content so far just go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bar i will be making more videos This is the finishing look. I hope you guys like this video. Again, if you made it this far, even if you're here just just to make jokes at me, I don't care. Um, just like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and comment down below. As I said before.